Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's see, uh, I think I've already harvested everything for now, so let's go to our quest and see what's opened up. Um, we could get the transformation spell. I think that might be one of our final outside of um, Imperio and uh, Avada Kedavra. So let's see. I think I'd like to head to this one first. So collect Field Guide page in the Underground Harbor. That'll be our first part. Tracking is not available here. Okay, let's see if we can just see on the map. Ah, it's down here. Interesting. Um, looks like it's saying the Great Hall might be our closest transport. Let me see if I can put a tracker on this one. Oh, it's already on there. Okay. And how are we going to get to it? Okay, well, I suppose we can start here at the boathouse. Okay, looks like we have a path forward. Let's go look at it. This almost looks like something that I could fly down to. I feel like this doesn't necessarily feel like it's leading me to the right spot, but I don't know. Maybe this has some sort of hidden entrance. Could be a staircase that goes down the opposite side of this little hill too. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. I wish that I could have come to this warp, sp warp spot to begin with. I saved this some time. Oh well. There we go. Guess I haven't been here at all. Rebellion. So this is the underground harbor. Money, money. Underground Harbor, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard, is a landing for boats delivering first-year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. All right, cool. Let's go check over here and get this. It looks like there's something else to pick up back there. Oh, this is one of the tricky guys. Let's go down here and we'll do disillusionment. Nice. What is this over here? Oh, just a skipping stone. Rebellion. Alright, I don't see anything else. Um now we need to get the fill guide page from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. Where or where does that show? We'll just start off with warping to the library, but that'll bring us a bit closer. Okay, up these stairs. Yep. Oh, 
that book Professor Weasley asked me to find? Looking for the book Intermediate Transfer. Rebellio. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Okay, here we go. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Hmm, no idea. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, what's the snake bird? The snake bird. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? There we go. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? I think that would be... Is it the Quaffle? I feel like the Quaffle is. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. True. True. Actually, the answer was false. Well, While Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. Hmm. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, no. I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal. Revelio. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Yeah, Apologies Potion did turn Hermione into like a half cat thing, so I think technically she was wrong. Book on Intermediate Transfiguration. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more com complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Okay. We'll just go through Hogwarts to get there. Instead of warping all over the place, we'll just have fun and run out. It didn't look like it was super far away anyways. Loading, loading. Okay. Oh, which way are we going here? Okay. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it, as I see in all of you. 
tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Oh, interesting. Kind of a curvy one. Beautifully done. Okay, nice. Let's put uh, that one on here. Why not? Oh, this is just not going to let me do it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Maybe so. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Oh, there we go. There's something to do. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook. And I'll explain. South of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks Goblin. Okie dokie. Well, we have an explosion of new quests coming up already, huh? Let's see. So, this is another mainline quest with Sebastian. He's waiting near the entrance to Overlook Mine to the northeast of Upper Hawksfield. And then Lodgok has asked me to meet him at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts and asked that I bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Okay. Um, let's check out our map. I think that I'd like to do a few random quests and see what's out there. Let's see, what do we have here? I don't think that we have anything other than these two um, relationship side quests. Uh, let's see. Felt like it. There were one or two showing on the map recently that we could start clearing out. Hmm. Let's try getting over there by warping first. I see a patch of undiscovered land. I kind of like to fly over it just to get it revealed in case there are 
some missions or little things to do, like Merlin trials oh, or nice what have you. Nice to see you, my young friend. Okay, let's see. Make sure I'm heading to the right spot. Okay, I'll just head up to the point of interest and just cruise the coastline. It's a pretty area. Let's see if it's all discovered yet. Okay, well we still have a ways to go. I guess we'll just head for this Merlin trial that's up on the hill. I think that'll get most of it marked on the map. There's a bandit camp that we could obliterate. Okay, let's see. I think this gets most of it. Can I even fly down the middle of this? Or is it restricted airspace? Oh, it looks like we can. Um, let's see how we're we doing staying on task with cle clearing it. Um, I guess we'll just keep flying. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay, there's uh, another cave of some sort. And what else can we see out here? There's still a fair bit left to be discovered. I guess we'll just fly in the direction of this warp to uncover a little bit more of it. I wonder what else we have on the map that I need to find. Okay, sweet. Somebody here is going to want potion. Oh, I guess they passed out for the day. Never mind. Okay, where else? Oh, there's an the ancient magic hotspot here. Let's just go get it. one elm is up high. Oh. Here's another landing platform. Oh, here's something to collect. Nice. And how are we going to get into this one? Oh, I guess there's a little pool here. Job at Gringotts. Oh. Me, all day. That's mission to released oaks. I guess that guy fell to his death. Okay. 
this an Alohomora? Yep. Alohomora. It's level three unlocked. Darn. When we will get to this ancient magic, we. hand item. All right, now where is our last little bit of ancient magic? You reckon? There's one more glob of it. Did it perhaps go over here? seeing it. Revelio. Well. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the Catacomb. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is something we have to repair here. It almost looks like it. That's what it's intending for us. But I feel like this ancient magic has to be closer by. Revelio. That we would see something. Um. Let's see if Repero does anything. Repero. Okay, so we got that back. That would have helped me climb up, but still doesn't help Rebellion. me find where the magic is. Where's the magic? Um. I wonder if I'm in some sort of glitch situation where it's not going to render. Perhaps. Well, I honestly had no idea. Um, only following orders. Let me go Finger check over here again. Revelio. Pretty sure that the magic shows up on the uh, Revelio, but. I don't see it. What's this? Can bring <laughs> All right. Let's go back over here again. Oh, here it is. It's down near the water. That's weird. I wouldn't have thought it'd be there. Okay. At least we got it. Alright, what rewards do we have? Ah, top of the class cloak. Nice. And a Quidditch captain. captain's helmet. Alright. Back to the map. Hmm. That treasure vault might be interesting to do. Um, but let's see. I think I want to fly over here and see what is over there. Maybe a little bit of a distance, but we'll make it. Be fun to go out for a little spin.
Ooh, what's this area? Oh, I don't think we're there yet. We'll keep flying. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. This is where the, all the inferior are. There. All right, here we are. I think we just gotta kind of explore up and down this coastline. We'll start maybe here. Follow the trail. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Hmm. What did he see? Is it the Merlin child? I don't know. Oops. Getting stuck on lamppost here. Let me out, so. This looks intriguing. Let me out, so. All right. Now let's see where we are. Most of that explored. Let's uh, just fly up to the crest of this little area. See if there are any other quest markers that are gonna pop up on us. I really wish we could fly for an infinite amount of time up in the air as fast as we want. Always bothers me that it um, doesn't let you go a little bit more freely. There's a landing platform too, so let's uh, take out these balloons and we'll stop by that landing platform too. see how our map is looking. Pretty sure we have a few other spots. Yeah, like right over here. We'll fly up over there now. This place has seen better days. Perhaps I shall scout around Felcro. Okay, we'll be there in no time. So we are here. Now, where should we go? I guess kind of up the hill and circle around a little bit. Here we go. And there are so many points of interest, it's crazy. Like, I oh. feel like I've seen it all. There's even more, you know. Hey, there we have a balloon that we could pop. Let's see where the sequence goes. Let's see, I see one. Okay, yeah, there's all five. I'll go ahead and take them out. This little area is. 
A bunch of dug bogs. Is that what we got here? Yep. Rebellio. Interesting, they're just all hanging out down here. Okay. Where are we going to put our marker next? Now this looks like it might be unexplored. Oh, you can't really put your marker on it. Um, there's this little patch here. Let's move up for it. We'll clear it off. pretty straightforward to get to. We'll just follow the coastline on the right side of it. I think I probably got most of it. Might be time to cut over again. Yeah, we'll just kind of circle it. We'll keep heading towards this uh, little ruins and then kind of circle around a little. Yeah. I should investigate. Found a couple new treasure spots. So that's nice. And I think it, are these friendlies that I'm coming up on are at Bandit Camp. Looks like a bandit can, possibly. Quite a few uh, bad guys out this way. Yeah, yeah, another bandit camp. This Klagmire Coast is full of rough and tough people. Here we got some trolls to deal with. Hey, is this something to dive into? Yeah, let's do it. Done a lot of exploration, now it's time to go look for treasure. Oh. It just takes you to another area. Fascinating, let's try that again. Okay then. This doesn't seem particularly handy. Hmm. line up with this and we'll try to go right down the middle. Transform an Animagus back to human form. I wonder if the transformation spell is what does that. That's gotta be. Alright, well we got most of this area dehazed. Um, I think that I'd like to head over to this one next. Actually, let's go way back over there. And we'll work our way over. Not your best moment, I fear. I'm very curious to see if we'll find any more warp points, but you never know. Cragcroft Shire. trial. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. First off, let's check out what's in the water. So just another warp, 129 meters away. I just don't really see the point of that. I think that this might be a uh, 
pop on the rocks fast. So if it is, I want to try using uh, my mount and see if that works. How about some sightseeing? How do we fly? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works. This will be hilarious if it does. Ah, uh, they go back to walking, thinking that that'll be a problem. Huh? Oh. Uh, let's go back. Come back a little, buddy. Oh, it moves so fast. We lived here, I wonder. Oh, and it's time limited too. Just for fun, we'll try again. No. Alright. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work very well. We'll just, uh, land again. There we go. Back in the bag, beast. Oh, yeah. Broom is definitely far easier to control. Maze. I haven't done one of these in a while. Let's check it out. Oops. Didn't mean to say that. What creature? Wanted to go back and see what creature was showing on the map, too. Ah, uh, Nifflers. Okay. I'm gonna go try the hedge maze. Hedge maze, though. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. All right, let's head for left. Revelio. And it's a dead end. Let's go this way. Is this feeling like it might be the right way? Aha. Uh -huh. The teenage Artemisia played a pivotal role in Yunnan's growth as a wizard, but also his descent into madness. He stoking the others' disdain for their muggle parents. And as Yunnan changed, so did the results of his work. The hedges he nurtured grew vicious and volatile. The wedding of Yunnan and Artemisia was a curious affair, for Artemisia's muggle father and Yunnan's muggle family were all invited. It's believed that Yunnan's family would have avoided the affair altogether if not for rumors of Artemisia's considerable dowry next to them was not a pile of gold, but a single golden medallion bewitched with the Gemino curse. Enticed by the greed, the muggles agreed to attend. Oh, this sounds dark. Rebellion. Let's see, is there more to the story nearby? Oh. Okay, that looks like part of another Merlin trial, perhaps. Um. Oh, bummer. Can I go back in and read more, maybe? No, I guess it's just done. Revelio. Weird. Okay then, maybe every hedge maze has a bit of that story. I vaguely remember seeing more of a story um, than one of the others, so maybe that's how you catch them all. Uh, let's head over this way. We'll fly. Yeah. There's an astronomy table. Let's go for it, actually. I haven't completed those in a little while. 
can't see myself doing this sort of thing forever though. Fancy I'll have my own operation. Take out those enemies after that too. Ooh, okay. It's gotta go this way, right? Cetus. Nothing to poach in Aaron Tour except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. I tell you. There you go. Crucy. Damage of frozen enemy. I can totally do that. Arrest the momentum. I didn't get to do a single thing to me. I own a Morgan was a good poacher. Protect her. Stupid. Slippery. Did he fall? No. You, you're... Sweet. Let's go pick a fight with these other dudes. Oh, uh, we'll just watch him get defeated by the field. Or not. This is all my... No. Here we go. Treasure vault, yeah. We'll steal the treasure from that back guy. This looks intriguing. Uh -huh. Rebellion. Wonder if this is like a combination based thing. Um, like, will we even be able to solve it? Accio. Thinking not. So we'll pull out some and it'll reset. Yep. Okay. Um. Revelio. Interesting that only a couple of these were lighting up. Maybe that's the solution. It is. Oh, cool. Rebellion. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, interesting. That was a little different than some of the others I've done, so. Cool. Let's uh, go back to our map and I could explore the rest of this little area, but I think I'd rather go back to the room requirement. I've still got plenty to check out. Maybe next stream we'll get some more. This little part looks like it needs some and then this bridge area, this patch and this patch. So that'll be pretty good. Um, I wonder if I can fly over this part that looks like it's patchy and I bet the shield goes around here in the no-fly zone. So it looks like we still got some room to work over there and just kind of flying around. Um, I feel like most all the rest of the map as we know it has been covered at this point. Do do do. I wish I could fly over this because it bothers me that it's just grayed out, you know, period. That's it. Okay. Let's do some harvesting. Maybe we'll pet our pets. We'll go on from there. Big things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Come on, be legendary. Yeah. Let's try them on.
All right, these are 31s and these are 32s. I don't think it's going to make any difference because by the time we upgrade it, it's just going to be the same. So it's good we got it for the appearance. So face wear, I think, showed as an improvement, oh, but it's a 33. And we're not there yet. Okay. This will just be destroyed. And I don't think any of this is going to matter, but we'll see. Nope. Yep, same situation there. Okay, let's look at our inventory. Ah, oh, okay. The maze, okay. Yeah, I need to read all these together when... Uh, totally done. Oh, I've actually been sitting on a talent point. Hmm. Maybe we'll pick that out here in a minute. I'm just kind of going through getting everything off the checklist that I can. All right, and here we go. What else do we have? Ah, here we go. Nope, oh, one more at least. Ah, here we are. Good. Okay. Potions to brew. It doesn't look like we need to. Let's get a harvest or everything and go pet our pets. and see how much longer I want to uh, bother with the vivarium because I feel like I've got to have enough stock and quite a few of my things to not need to do it. Um, upgrading my stuff seems to get fewer and further between so I'm not seeing a whole lot of payoff. You may sure are cute though. <laughs> Not right, kitty. Come here, little nasal. Let me pull out some whiskers. Pretty sure that's what we're doing here. Okay, how we need some beast care. And let's see, Caligo, we can take its feather too. And two puskeens need some scrubbing. Okay. Easel, need you out of the way, buddy. All right, everybody has been nurtured. Good. All right, to the next area. I'm trying to remember how many beasts I have left to collect. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a phoenix, and there's the grap horns that I need to get. I feel like there's like maybe one more, but I'm not sure. Okay, I guess he's already ordered his food, huh? There we go. Nope, don't feed him again. Darn it. Alright, well, the moon cows. 
Okay, who else do we need? Thirdale, Piffler, Pilfer. There we go. See, I think this guy also needs brushing. Yep. Alright, uh, one of the deer calls. There we go. And that's it. So now we just gotta go to our last vivarium and um, may call it a stream after that. Feeling we got quite a bit done today, actually. Hour flew by quickly. this guy. Come here, little frog. thing I just thought of is I probably do need to go sell some of my gear off for the next area. Um, so let's go do that before we call it since we're not quite in an hour yet. We'll go ahead and take care of it. Go to Hogsmeade. And we'll just go to the potion guy. I think it, that might be the fastest warp point to get to a vendor. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Okay. Now, which of these legendaries can we let go? We'll keep that one. Sell this one. I think this one's ready to go too. Same here. All right, that one will actually be. I think it was plus three overall. So I hope that's to better see you nothing. again. Farewell for now. And yeah, I think that since we're here in a little peaceful Hogsmeade, I may go ahead and um, say this is a good place to pause and roll credits. Say thank you for watching. This has been SCR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.